I'm Dr. Joseph Schwidler, and I'm a double board certified facial plastic surgeon currently practicing at the Seattle Facial Plastic Surgery Center in Seattle, Washington. So a rhinoplasty surgery in modern day and age is a very comfortable experience. You first arrive into the office and are greeted by our staff. You get a chance to ask any last minute questions. We already have a plan in place. Then we uh, go into the surgery suite where you're placed under gentle general anesthesia by a board certified anesthesiologist. So the surgery usually takes one to two hours depending on the complexity. Uh, but for you as a patient, it's like time travel. The modern anesthesia is amazing where you essentially are drifting off to sleep and next thing you know, you're waking up in a recovery room. So waking up is very easy. You wake up from gentle sleep and uh, we also use local anesthetic in addition to general anesthesia to make this experience very comfortable. So you should not have any pain at all after surgery. Uh, you will be greeted by one of our post-operative anesthesia nurses who will attend to your every need. And if you have any discomfort or nausea, they will administer medications to make you very comfortable. The recovery time is usually one to one and a half hours after which uh, you will be discharged to home and you will be given discharge instructions uh, and the nurses will go over those with you to make sure that you and your accompanying uh, person have an understanding of what needs to be done in the first 24 to 48 hours after surgery. One of our staff uh, will call you uh, in the evening after surgery to check in on you, make sure you, you have everything you need, that you're comfortable, that you're not nauseous, uh, your pain is well controlled, and I will usually give you a call on post-operative number one and do a, a, a welfare check and make sure that you're doing okay. Typically the next three days are the, the toughest day in recovery. So the biggest thing is pain control. Uh, we give you pain medications after surgery to recover from uh, any discomfort that you have. There are some strategies in terms of timing when you take the medications to make sure you're very comfortable but also not taking a lot of medications as well. In the first three days uh, you also have a little bit of bleeding from your nose after a rhinoplasty and that's very common and it is expected uh, and usually we'll have you wear a gauze or a nasal drip pad and that usually will uh, subside after first couple of days. So the first two or three days you may feel congested and stuffy and full of stuff inside your nose but as the time goes by and the swelling continues to subside you should have improvement in breathing as well as reduction in bruising and swelling and by I would say day seven you will be ready to have your cast removed and kind of get an idea what the result looks like. The first post-operative visit is one week after surgery. This is the time where we will take any cast or sutures or splints that are placed inside the nose. We usually don't place the splints inside the nose, but sometimes we do. And this is where everything is taken out. We then see you one month after surgery. So the first glimpse of what somebody's nose looks like is on the first post-operative visit. And, uh, usually that, this happens one week after surgery. We, at that time, we remove the cast, and this is the big reveal. This is where you get to see the changes um, in the bridge, in the tip. But we also remind you that the final changes will not occur for a while. 90% of the swelling will take about two to three months to go away. and may sometimes require a steroid injection in the tip of the nose but that 10% of the swelling may take up to a year and sometimes 18 months to go away. So we don't really judge the final result until one year after surgery.